In 1955, Dawson Trotman, the founder of Navigators, preached a sermon called Born to Reproduce. I'm, I'm holding the booklet right here. I'll put a link to it below. This is a must read for every Christian. I think it's really good. I'm actually here at the Navigators facility in Colorado Springs. And it's such a great read, even though it's, you know, 60, 70 years old by now. But I'm going to talk through just some of these highlights in here. And then hopefully you and your mentor, your small group, you can talk through this because it's a message about mentoring and being a disciple maker. Trotman points out that the first order that God gave to man back, back in Genesis was to be fruitful and multiply. And he makes the point that this is true in the physical life, that we do this physically. We have kids and then kids have parents and then those parents have parents, grandparents. And he talks about the point that we're born spiritually to reproduce as well, that we should have spiritual children and they should have spiritual children. So this be fruitful and multiply applies to Christians and every Christian should do it. We should all be making disciples. And he says that every Christian should be a reproducer, not just missionaries. You know, sometimes we say, hey, let's raise up missionaries and pastors and send them to seminary. And then those people are going to make disciples. That's not at all how God wants us to do it. He wants every single Christian to be a reproducer. But Christians tend to run around in circles and we're not always super intentional about making disciples. And that's what Trotman is talking about in his book. And that's what the navigators are all about too. Trotman talks about the fact that one person with a systematic method for disciple making can affect billions of people. You can do the math for yourself. He does it in the booklet. He talks about if you would reproduce a reproducer in six months, and then you would both do it for the next person, six more months, that after 15 and a half years, get this, you would have reached over 2 billion with a B, over 2 billion people in your mentor tree. But his point is that winning souls requires intentional follow-up. It's not enough to just pray the prayer with somebody, share the gospel with them. It's not enough just to get them to truth one. You have to get them to truth two in foundations and to truth three where they become a reproducer. But you do it with follow-up. You do it with intentional mentoring or intentional disciple making. So Trotman ends his little booklet by asking this question, where is your man? Where is your woman? He's talking about the person that you're going to start mentoring, whether it's someone who's far from God and you're going to introduce them to Jesus or whether it's a new Christian, a new believer, or just an ineffective believer that you're going to walk with and mentor for the purpose of helping them become a mentor as well. So I encourage you to check out this booklet. Use the questions below to talk about this with your mentor or your small group and then use our resources as those systematic tools to make disciple makers.